Welcome. In a previous video, I installed a cheap touchscreen radio in my 1997 Land Cruiser. And in this video, I'm just going to show how I'm mounting the camera, um, the backup camera, on the reverse light assembly. So what I have here is the uh, backup camera. And you can see the pivot here. And this is the top side. Uh, I checked it. I plugged it into a television, hooked up 12 volts to it to see what that was. And... I tried mounting it towards this edge of the uh, reverse light frame and it stuck out and I thought, well, I don't know why I'm doing that. I shouldn't mount it towards the back. So I haven't mounted towards the back here. I have the wire run in this little tiny gap next to the reverse light here. And then that comes out here. And then there's a gasket right here. And I split that with a uh, X-Acto knife, one of these big ones like this. And this is brand new, so it's very sharp. I split that and then shove the wire in there so that grommet will work. So now I can stick that in just like that. So to get to this point, I popped the back off the door here and I took these plates off. There's three of them. They look about like that. There's two like that and then one rectangular one. So I took that off. So where I'm at right now is I have this composite and power cord into the rear tailgate. And this is all the further I've gotten. So I'm going to make short clips of this. It might be a little disjointed, but um, I don't have a plan right now. I'm just working through it, and I wanted to film it as I'm working on it. So, Okay, it's been a couple weeks since my last video on this, but I have the wires coming out here. And I was going to route it through here, but this looks like it's going to be a huge pain. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run these through here, through here, and I'm going to run it out here. This little plastic plug that goes through there, I'm going to route the wires through that and then I'll have it come out the panel here and I'll have it go this way and out that panel. So the next thing I'm going to do is take this wire. This is a uh, an 18 gauge silicone wire. I'll put a link in the description of this. If you use that link it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And I'm going to tap off of this connector. So let me get some light in here. So there's this like foam covered connector here. I don't know if the foam will be on yours. Uh, could deteriorate, but this has, well, it's kind of hard to see the color on here. This is black, uh, green, I think brown maybe, and then red and white on the bottom. So the black is the reverse wire and the white is the uh, common wire or the ground. So I'm gonna use some splice connectors like this, let me get one out of the package. So these, I'm gonna put these on there, and uh, I don't know if these are available on Amazon. They're, uh, they're an Autocraft brand, I got them at the auto parts store. If I find them on Amazon, I'll put them on there, but these have a, like a silicone grease in them, and it has the pass-through wire, is this one, so that, that clips on, and then that you stick your other wire in here, and then you press it down, and it's for tapping. So I'm going to put one on the ground and on the hot here, and I'm going to extend those wires. I can't. I don't have a good way to film this while I'm doing it, so I'll uh, come back in between shots. Okay, so I took this grommet that was in the rear door, and I drilled the center out and then split it so I can get the wires in there. So this will fit in here like this. I'll get the wires in here, and I'll uh, come back. Okay, so I have the wires tapped off here. They're coming down to this hole, and then they're coming out here. This may look really tight right here, because this has to tuck in. But once I get this connected, it doesn't have to sit right here. It can sit back down here a little bit. So now I'm going to probably, I may solder this, because I have different gauges of wire, and a solder will probably work a little bit better. It's kind of a hassle, but it's what I gotta do, I guess. Okay, so now I've got the camera lead here. It comes off to a composite connector and a power connector. And I have this really big shrink wrap I'm going to put over these. I thought about taping them, but I, since I had this, I'll just use it. So that should keep those together. And then I have the joint soldered here for the ground. And then I have power going to the cable. And that's for re reverse sense, although I couldn't get reverse sense working, but I'm still going to wire it up. And then the other one goes to power for the camera. So this is your uh, hot and ground for the power. And then this is the sense cable. So then I'm going to get the shrink wrap on all these. And then I can button up the back door here and adjust these wires uh, to have a little more room here. Okay, so this is what it looks like after shrink wrap. I have this shrink wrapped here. 
I have the connector shrink wrapped. It didn't shrink all the way down on here, but it should be enough to keep that connector together. Same with this one here. Okay, so there's the grommet. I'm putting the cut on the opposite side of where the wires come out so it doesn't pull into that part. And then uh, I put some zip ties on this. I put two zip ties on in case they break down over time. Um, and I kind of centered the access to it here. So now I'll put all this back together. Okay, so I have the tailgate panel back in and I have the wires coming out here. I put these zip ties on it. I made sure to clip them with these flush cut pliers here. So I don't have like sharp things sticking out of here. So now I have to, uh, next I'm gonna clean up my back of my vehicle real quick. And then I'll uh, start putting these panels in and routing the wire towards the front. Okay, so now I'm on the, let's see, I'm on the passenger side door. Um, and I'm looking back. So I have the wire coming in here. I ran it right here and it's coming out here. I attach it to this loom with a zip tie. I tried to get that really tight so it won't move. I guess if you're ambitious, you could take the loom apart and put this wire inside of the loom. I removed this trim piece too. I didn't have it removed before. There was just a, a connector here and somewhere down here, uh, right here. So there and up high. And once you pop those out, this just slides right off. So now I can replace this panel. Okay, so I have this panel back in. I have this trim piece put back in. You can see the wires coming out here, going in here when I close this. Let's see if I can get some light over here. There we go. So the wire comes out here and then goes in behind this trim here. So I'll watch this and see if it gets any wear on it. And, um, you know, if it does, I'll just have to reroute all this somehow. So I have this panel still out because I need this out before I put the next trim piece in, but I removed this piece here. This just pops out, has connectors in it. And if you have any of these broken, uh, check out my Toyota playlist, my Land Cruiser playlist. I have uh, replacement connectors, these that I can use there. And then this piece here slides up and then you can peel it off the sides. Let me get over to that. So that looks like this. So this can slide up and then you can peel it off the sides. And then this piece has three connectors on the bottom. You can take these three out and then you can peel this up. So now I can run the wire along here. So I have the wire connected here with the zip tie on this loom. And then when I get that, got down to here, I used my panel pliers to pry this up. I'll show you on the front door. So I put those in there and I just did this. I pried that up, I slipped the wire behind it and then pressed it back into place. Okay, so I have the wire routed under here. It came up here. I zip tied it to this cable. Maybe you'll still have that yellow tape. I came up here, zip tied it here. Took the glove box out and ran the cable up here. And right up through there. And I just did this to my seat. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Okay, so there's some holes right here. Let me get the light up here, there we go. There's some holes here. So I put some the slack from the wire here and then I attached it over right there. That was real tricky to get the zip tie in. And I ran it up behind here and I have it plugged in the upper right. Like if you're looking straight on, it's the upper right one. So the, uh, the bottom right one is the reverse camera connector and then it has the reverse sense wire. It's supposedly this orange wire, but I couldn't get it working and I don't know why. So if you're an expert on this stuff and you can answer that question, uh, please write it in the comments. But in theory, I should be able to take the red wire from the uh, composite video connector and the orange wire, hook them together. And then when you go into reverse, the camera will turn on. But the way I have it set up now, you actually have to go into auxiliary. And uh, I may revisit this if I can figure out what the problem is. So I'll snip that orange wire. I have a copper on there. I'll snip it so uh, it doesn't short out on anything. So now I'll go um, put this back in. I'll just pop it back in. And uh, we'll take a look at what it looks like. Okay, so I have this in. And I'm in park. So in order to see the backup camera, you have to shift it into reverse. And I'll go to home here. And then I'll go to auxiliary. And there you go. If I shift it out it shuts off. And the reason being is because it's hooked up to the power of reverse. 
So there we go. And you know, the quality isn't good. This is, you know, uh, you know, under $40. So it's for everything. So this was super cheap. The quality is not perfect, but you'd be able to see a kid back here very easily. And uh, it looks like the camera may not be straight. Well, I'm not straight to the door, so it's probably fine. But uh, if I do get like a hitch and, a, you know, to tow a trailer, I'd probably tip this down and make sure that I can see the ball of the hitch so I can back up into it. But, uh, you know, it's a little inconvenient to have to switch to auxiliary to see the backup camera. But, um, you know, until I can get the reverse thing working, this is how it's going to be. So I'm just injecting this video here. This is a nighttime vision of the backup camera here. So this is behind me on my drive and there's a gate back there. I probably need to shine my camera down a little bit or uh, point it down a little bit. I'm pointed kind of straight out. What I, my plan is to put the uh, a tow hitch in there and then tilt it down just so that's showing because that's a reason you'd want to have a backup camera. So I just wanted to put this in here so you can see it. Not super great, but like I said, this is super cheap. So I'll go back to the regular video now. But uh, I think that concludes this video for now. Um, like I said, if you have any comments on how I can fix this, you know, please leave them below. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.